Hey guys, I'm working on this uh, 2020 Transit here and uh, I was having a problem with the upfitter switches. I spent countless hours looking up for menus and videos and stuff and there's very little information about 2020. So there's this great video from a guy who upfits a 2018, I think, a vehicle and he has fantastic information and everything is explained really well i'm gonna link it here actually but that video doesn't apply to 2020 vehicles so there are a few changes here that i wanted to show you so you don't need to go through the struggle like i did well if you're watching this video you probably know what i'm talking about these are the auxiliary switches that you can use to power up auxiliary equipment that you hook up to your uh, main battery so to do that in the package when you buy the vehicle you get these two harnesses that you have to hook up to these two connectors behind the glove box so they are just blanked when the vehicle comes but you can uh, hook them up here so there's this big one i think it's 33 pin i'm not really sure and there's this little one which is four pin so supposedly you have two auxiliary outputs on this big pin and two on the small one these two are 20 amp each these two are 40 amp so i hook them up and i have the wires coming out here so this is my 33 pin this is my four pin anyway so i found the menu for uh, 2020 actually and it shows the exact same situation as for 2018 but it doesn't work that way unfortunately so i even found a statement from ford that says that there's a mistake in the menu and it explains a little bit the thing that i'm gonna explain to you too well if you look in the menu it says that the yellow here the solid yellow and the green with brown are the auxiliary outputs one and two and these two are the auxiliary outputs for number three and four switches there well it turns out these are number one and four here now and these are number two and three also in the menu it says that you have to use the grounds that are on this harness on the mm, 33 pin harness however none of them work they're absolutely not connected to anything looks like because there's no ground there's no resistance there's nothing on these so as you can see here i used one of them and i that triggered the problem because i didn't have ground here so i found out that only one of the grounds on the four pin harness so these four wires only one of these grounds actually is a ground and according to ford again i read lots of forums and stuff and somebody spoke to ford and they confirmed that you can use this ground for all the outputs that you have number one two three and four now <laughs> two and three are 40 amp so if you have 40 amp draw here and you use this ground for all of them that's not really good but luckily for me my draws are not that big i have a, a backup camera and i have few little things that i'm gonna use so my outputs are I'm gonna use even the small output for number one and four, and I'm gonna use the same ground for both of them. So that's just so you know that the four outputs changed positions and the ground is only one for all of them. <laughs> the other problem I had here was that my switches were always live. So you have an option to have them always live or only ignition supplied. So in the manual, supposedly it says that number four is only live when the ignition is running. But for me, they all work in the same manner. So you can set them up either to be ignition supplied or to be always live, even when the vehicle is off. So for this reason, they supply you even with a dummy relay that is actually a jumper that you need to plug in somewhere there but that's again for vehicles before 2018 for 2020 at least for this vehicle they changed it to something else here so even though even though they supply you with the relay you don't need it anymore so here is your fuse box inside and apparently this is fuse 15 here this is fuse number 15 and it, it can be in these two pins or it can be moved one step to the right so when it is to the left i moved it already for me it was on the first and the second from the right 
and that's when all my switches were all were live all the time so i moved it on the second and third position and now it is uh, they are live only with ignition at least for me there's no switch which is live only when the engine is running however i have a wire here coming out which gives me ground when the engine is running so i can use that for my uh, dc to dc battery charger because i have a third battery here i have lots of loads here so i'm gonna use a third battery separate from the two that came with the vehicle and this uh dc dc charger needs to be live only when the engine is running so i'm gonna use one of these small wires i don't even remember which one but in the manual whatever it says about this wire it's correct so between 2018 and 2020 vehicles somewhere in this period of time there was a change in the wiring but that wasn't reflected in the manual and people were getting confused like i did so i had to do a lot of research and so anyways i had to play a lot here as you can see I, I stripped a little bit each wire and i tested them to find out what's what but also some people already found some stuff and shared on forums there is a little bit of information but it is not summarized so that's why I decided to summarize it here in this video and hopefully that's going to help someone who is in the same situation as I am and they're not going to waste two days looking around for this information. Here it is. I hope that helps.